UCSF and QB3 originally partnered with Nikon and a number of other microscopy companies in 2006 to create the Nikon Imaging Center. The vision was to provide state-of-the-art microscopy instrumentation to the UCSF research community at costs much lower than they could do on their own. We have two wide-field fluorescence microscopes, and then we have two confocal microscopes, and finally we have a total internal reflection system, which is capable of doing single molecule imaging. For industrial users, we provide essentially one-stop shopping for you know, a full range of different microscopy techniques. A lot of these are cutting-edge instruments that would be you know, close to half a million dollars to buy. Before you can use a microscope in the imaging center, you must first be trained on it, and we provide those training courses that give you, you know, the knowledge of how to actually operate the microscope. We're very open to working with researchers on experimental design and data analysis. I'm interested in the spatial dynamic organization of cells, specifically at the level of organelles. As a model system for cell organization, I study mitochondrial networks in budding yeast. Because their morphology, their shape, varies widely, and this morphology is implicated in health and disease, including various types of blindness, neurodegenerative diseases, cancer, and aging. So to study mitochondrial morphology, I need to first develop a method to measure the morphology. And to do so, I have to be able to image my cells in a very high resolution manner while they're alive. The NIC has been invaluable to my research. Uh, Kurt's wide range of expertise in microscopy and optics and image processing, as well as the lecture series that he provides yearly, were instrumental in me developing my method. I highly recommend collaborating with the Nikon Imaging Center. In addition to being a great resource for people who are starting out um, with using microscopy in their research, it's really useful also for those people who already have a lot of microscopy experience and have done high-end microscopy before. This is because there are so many different microscopes, and for each of your research projects, you can go and try out all of the microscopes and really optimize your imaging conditions to the research that you're doing. Nikon is interested in making us a center of excellence in super-resolution microscopy. We're hoping to house two of these new microscopes, these new super-resolution microscopes that will let us push the resolution limit to, you know, twofold to tenfold better than conventional equipment. The nice thing about microscopy is it's kind of an instant gratification field. It's not a uh, an experimental science where you have to, you know, analyze data for hours and hours or weeks and weeks to figure out what you've learned. You know, you take your sample, you look at it on the microscope and you see something right away. Mm -hmm.